Okay, hey guys, I don't know if I've cut my head off or not. Happy Mass Monday to you guys. I am in California. <music> days here is my mask i'm going to do this pink clay mask um well, i guess that's upside down it goes this way but i really like this pink clay mask i've done one once before they are super hard to get a hold of and um i have found them to be a little more expensive i think i probably paid five bucks for this one here but this is what i want to do it's great for detoxifying and i haven't done that in a while so we will do that this morning. And the mask is inside the plastic. So I'm gonna move over here. I'm in the bathroom. With, it's the easiest place to um, film. My dad is hard of hearing. So his iPad and stuff is way, way up. <laughs> you would not be able to hear me, so. This is a two-piece face mask, so I'm going to put the bottom one on first. And it's got a plastic that comes off. And like I said, this is a clay mask. It's not the regular, um, like moisturizing this will actually harden up hopefully i can get this edited and over on um, well actually tomorrow because today's mother's day happy mother's day everybody i get to spend my mother's day with my mom for the first time in about 25 years so i'm excited about that so here's my eye pieces we're going to go ahead and take off all of the layers because there is also another layer of plastic. And I think it's because it's clay mask. It's different than just putting on a regular one. Okay, there it is. Let's make sure that I can put it on without ripping it. There it goes. I want to say this is, we'll see. I think I might have it right. Okay. So we're going to pull this up. And it takes me a little time to get it on. But you can tell that it's clay. It's like um, clay feeling like you've just touched clay that you're working with. So hopefully this works well. My nose piece is a little big for me, but that's okay. We'll keep it there. You know, I notice now as I'm getting older and you know, I can't even see that well, but there's the lines around my mouth really need some uh, work. So I will try this year to work on those. Okay. So this is my mask for this morning. Um, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, she's not gonna work because I'm on. So it is 1041. I need to leave it on for 20 minutes. So a little bit after 11. And it's gonna harden like a clay mask does. So, so you guys seen a couple of my videos out um, today I put another Timu clothing video out. Um, I had already previously posted this one. So if it looks familiar, that is why, um, they rejected my video, but they don't tell you exactly what was wrong with it. So I did my best to redo the video and repost it. So that's why you're probably seeing a double video, but, um, Sorry about that, but I had to get it posted and it corrected for them. So now it's up. We'll see what they say in a few days. Hopefully it is accepted. Because um, the with the influencer program, they give you money for, for every video you make. You get about $20 if you make a YouTube video. I mean, it's not a lot if you think about it. 
but it still um, gives me free items to be able to purchase for myself or someone else. And then I make a video about those. So we'll wait on that. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully my video gets approved and has everything in it it needs to have. So um, I do like Timo. I got an order. I think it's sitting at my house that came in while I was gone. Um, Hubby was telling me, it's like I had no boxes left when I left my house. And normally I can put the boxes in my suitcase, bring them here and film. But nope, there was no boxes. And so they are coming in all at the same time. My husband's like, what did you order? But it's all my boxes and they're all coming in at the same time. So um, I'm going to, I'll get in on Monday. So starting Tuesday, I'll make videos of everything that's came in. And then the following week, I will um, edit and post all videos to get those ready for when I am in Alabama. So I told you guys I was going to Alabama. I'm going for Memorial Week. Um, it's going to be super fun and it's going to be a relaxing time. My um, best friend, you know, lost her dad. I've told you guys that um, a couple weeks ago. And right now she had, has also lost her job. Um, the company is having some issues legally, I think, and they had to let people go. Um, so she is now retired, basically, which is wonderful for her. But it's not the same amount of money. She doesn't know what to do with herself. She's home. Um, dad's not there to take care of, you know. So she started, you know, purging and cleaning stuff out, getting stuff to um, homeless shelters and things like that. So she's doing that. I think she's going to need a wonderful week of rest and just hanging out with us because, you know, we do good together. All four of us do great together. So I just love, love, love them. I've known them, what, five or six years now. And it's like I've always known them, even though I haven't. So you know how you connect with somebody like that. So let's see. Today is Sunday, Mother's Day. So mom and dad and I are going to go out to Red Robin for dinner. Um, she likes that. I like that. I can eat there. So we're going to do that together. Yesterday, we had this massive family spaghetti dinner. Mom makes the amazing, the most amazing spaghetti sauce from scratch. Um, I helped her uh, Friday night to do part of it so we didn't have to do everything yesterday. And my sister and I tried to do the cleanup, just us two, so that she could rest. Because it's hard for her. You know, I told you... She's on oxygen and she has a lot of health issues. So get her to rest anytime we can. So I've been really lucky. My pain has not been bad this time. Um, I've had some yesterday um, on the higher end. And then today it's like my feet feel like they're swollen and they just hurt and my hands are hurting. So um, that's still not compared to you know, when I have everything hurting at the same time. So truly blessed this trip to have such um, little pain so that I'm able to visit and be with my parents, you know. So dad just turned 80. And I think my mom is going to turn 79 in October. So then my dad will turn 81 in January. Yep, that's right. So, um, they've had a great life though, and they're still, you know, trying to do everything they can do, which, you know, just going out to the stores and eating is what they can do right now. And so that's what they're doing. So uh, I love that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to show you these. So I have my little socks. These are my mask socks. And then I have my hand one. I thought somebody gave me this. I can't see right now. So here's this one. I'm going to do these two when I'm done with this. You know, I hope I put it on the right way. I think I did. You know, you never know which color goes which way. But it's starting to harden a little bit. Just a little. So I told you guys that we're going to do Talk About It Tuesdays on Tuesday. 
um, I will start getting that ready for a set of questions each Tuesday regarding um, my life. If there's anything you want to know about me that I haven't discussed, please tell me in the comments or DM me. I will be glad to talk about those. You know, I'm, I'm not a very private person all the time. There's some things that I do keep to myself about my family or um, my life. But when it comes to my, my blindness, when it comes to my health, when it comes to all those things, um, I don't mind putting them out there for you guys to know because I think you can learn from it. Um, I know I didn't think anybody had Sjogren's, you know, when I had Sjogren's, but there are a lot of people out there on YouTube that do um, videos about Sjogren's and what it's like to to have it in their life because like I said everybody has a different degree so my phone is talking to me <laughs> or my watch is talking to me I didn't even ask it but I moved it I guess so I'm trying to think of what else we're doing this week um I'm just mostly going to get videos ready um to edit you know, and if I want to, I can actually edit those when I'm gone. I've edited a few here and put them out. So you guys have seen those. I'll be back to my regular scheduling, though, of every day um, or at least six days. Some days on Sundays I take off and I don't post. Um, but some days I do. So you'll either get six to seven posts a week. So we have one more palette coming up on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we will pick the winner of the week 11 palette Tuesdays, uh, the giveaways. And then I have, I'll go ahead and tell you, I have two palettes that are going hand in hand to be given away on my last day. I cannot believe it's been 12 weeks. I mean, I hope everybody's loved what they have gotten and just know it takes a little time to get stuff shipped out. My husband does all that for me. Um, he doesn't go into the office every day. So we try to do it once a week. So if you haven't got a package yet, it, it'll be on the way when I get home. Last week's pack, um, I think it was truly, truly amazing um, that her package uh, will be going out this week for that last one because I'm not home to um, set it up for him. So this one and 12 will come up. So be watching for the last week, guys. I'm really, really excited that I was able to do this for you guys and that I had some great palettes to share. Um, like I said, I've diminished that palette, eyeshadow palette. Um, what would you call that? Well, all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I diminished those down to only keep half of them and I gave half of them away, the ones that were not used. So I do hope that you love them. So we are working on this face still. So I'm gonna put my feet in the socks. So I get these all the time. A lot of times I buy them on Amazon and they're in a five pack. So I will buy them like that dropping stuff. So they come looking like little booties. So if you haven't used them before, seen them before, this is what they look like. There's two of them. They're together. So you just got um, the perforated line. You just pull it and it'll separate the two. So here is the one. So I'm going to open this up, hopefully. And inside is some great moisturizing for your feet. At the top, there's a little tab that you kind of go around the top with and then you will peel it off. Let me try and do this real quick. Okay, so I put one on my foot and I put it around. I'm gonna do this other one and now that I know what I'm doing, it'll only take a second. Sorry if I keep cutting myself off. If I back up, I'm sitting on the toilet seat why I am filming. I know, right? Just what you want to know. I got those on. I will do the hand masks um, when I'm not on film because it's hard to, 
to move around at all and touch stuff. And so I will put that in this. I don't know if I can touch my iPad or my iPhone with it. Let's try one. I'm gonna open these. And I'm gonna put one on. And I wanna see if I can touch the iPad, if it will work. I'm sure it's not touch screened. Okay, so here's the one. I'm gonna put on my left hand. Oop, would it help if I put it on the right way? So you can do this around the same way you just did your feet. There we go. So that's what my first hand looks like. Got my face and my feet. can't use these with your um, phone. At least I can't. These are really big on me. I have little hands. Probably need a child size. But, okay guys, I will come back in just a minute. We will take off this mask. I will have to wash my face and we'll see how it looks. So, hopefully you can see me. I took my mask off. So I, I think I need to wash my face after this mask, I'll double check, but I can kind of feel, you know, the clay. So I will soap up my face. I got my hands are off now and my feet are still on, but um, leave those on for a little bit longer while I get ready on Mother's Day. Okay, guys, I love you to death. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back on my regular schedule soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you.